is across town, as they say in Sun City. Tamisha's final date was an acting, modeling, singing, dancing, and now trampolining Tansy Kutsia. With this much talent, no wonder the 23-year-old swept to this year's Miss South Africa title. Wow, it's so, it's so cool to see you outside of your Miss South Africa guy. This is like a tansy that no one really gets to see. This is me. So tell me about this whole trampoline thing. What's going on with that? Just having some fun. Let's be okay. cute again. <laughs> Delighted to be on the arm of arguably the nation's most beautiful woman, Tanisha wondered if this was legal. As far as I know, Miss South Africa is not allowed to have a boyfriend. So is, is this what we're doing now legal? Well, technically... The contract states I'm allowed to have a chaperone, oh, so you could be my chaperone for today, or my bodyguard, or my driver. Which one? Which one would you prefer? Well, I, I can be your bodyguard. Like that? Yeah, because I can be like Kevin Costner, and you can be like Whitney Houston in that movie, The Bodyguard. That's a happy ending. <laughs> Afternoon of bumper boats, he had the ideal icebreaker plan. Like any first date, only powered by outboard engines, they began with coy and discreet nudges, soon relaxed into showing off with a few trick moves, and by the end had progressed to full extreme water sports. The ice well and truly smashed, Tamisha could try a little. So tell me, Tansy, how has life changed for you since you won Miss South Africa in the past year? It's only been two and a half months, so <laughs> but it's drama, absolute drama. It's everything I expected and a whole lot more. Every year, Miss South Africa has a mission, has a cause. What is your mission this year? This is actually part of my mission this year. Hope, healing and compassion. It's a top of local positive bangle. And then I have a charity in El Dorado Park where I grew up. So yeah, it's very important to me to go back to my community and give back what I can. Have people changed in the way they relate to you since you won in South Africa? Have ex-boyfriends suddenly come out of the woodwork? Uh, potential boyfriends suddenly behaving in a very different way towards you? You know, I think that men find me a bit more intimidating now. So they, they want to come up but they're scared, you know? But then also those ex-boyfriends that have suddenly appeared from nowhere, you know? But I'm not, I don't really have time for a man in my life, so sorry for them. <laughs> so basically I'm wasting my time. <laughs> but to me, I thought you were my bodyguard now. What's happening? Charming, but no pushover, Tamisha was getting to like Tansy. However, trouble was brewing when, at high tea at the Palace of the Lost City, the three girls met. Hi ladies, hi. I'm going to date with Tamisha. So we typical. Enter Don Juan de Carducci. Ah, ladies. You all look lovely, I must say, I see you've all met. Good. Well, ladies, you were all very gracious, and you were all very lovely this afternoon. And I just didn't even want to make up my mind about anyone. But what I do love is eating, so I'm going to make it easy. You guys pick what you believe I would like to eat, and we'll take it from there. With a self-confessed sweet tooth and passion for cinnamon buns, it seemed Tansy would surely guess the way to Tamisha's heart and win the day. Precious and Zinzi considered their choices most carefully, but their host had neglected to tell them one critical thing. Very nice, appetizing. Unfortunately, uh, I like savouries. Forget this. More for us. You don't have to go. Toodle. Bye. Come on. <laughs> In spite of all my efforts, and, and my efforts were substantial, I, I didn't get any of the ladies. But it's okay because I found true love. Have I told you lately that I love you? So the guy gets the car, the girls get the cake. A win-win situation.